The story of the yellow wallpaper was written in January of 1892. Our main character suffers from postpartum depression, though it is viewed as hysteria during the time of this story. In the story, it goes to show the deterioration of our main character's mental health while she is on a rest cure. She grows to become obsessed with the yellow wallpaper that wraps the room that she is stuck in. The story shows her descent into psychosis from her depression that she deals with during the time she spends inside the room. The definition of hysteria on the web goes that this is an old-fashioned term for a disorder characterized by neurological symptoms often accompanied by exaggerately and inappropriately emotional behavior, originally attributed to disease or injury of the nervous system and later thought to be functional or psychological in origin. As I had said before, it is believed that our main character is suffering from hysteria, but we now know, as we look back and read it, she was more likely suffering from postpartum depression. Postpartum depression is a complex mix of physical, emotional, and behavioral changes that happen in some women after giving birth. In some cases of this, the women who suffer from it are viewed as crazy or even erratic, and they sometimes do things that are considered out of the ordinary. During the time of the writing of the story, there was a discrimination on women's mental health. From the 1800s to the early 1900s, many women were sent and confined to mental institutions with diagnoses such as melancholia and nymphoma, as well as hysteria. They were sent there mostly when they were found dissatisfied with being the servants to the men in their lives or with their baby-making duties that they were supposed to obey and fulfill. I find that this story really captures the ideas and practices that were used on women during this time. A woman wrote this story. Her name was Charlotte Perkins Gilman. I feel that this story being written by a woman adds more to the conversation as to what this story could be looked at on a deeper level. As she is a woman, she may have had to deal with the accusations such as hysteria and the sexism of the time that related back to her gender. My deeper understanding of the story is to look at it from an outside perspective. We must understand what she is feeling and experiencing along with the medical ideas of this time. Although the diagnosis she is given is hysteria, she is struggling with something else. But we also have to understand that during this time, they did not look any further than anything that might have been below the surface for the suffering and issues that women may have been dealing with or experiencing. I find this whole story quite interesting because as much as you want to shun the men in this story for how they treated our main character, which do not get me wrong, I do do myself, you must put into perspective the society that was around at this time. Thank you for your time.